Hello everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We are as always your hosts Arna and Carlos. Yes we are. And what are we doing today? Today we are actually teaching people Norwegian knitting terms and crochet terms. Well actually we did the knitting terms last year or a couple of them so this time we thought we'd do a couple of the basic crochet terms in Norwegian and then we will do uh, another knitting terms in the future. Anyway before we do that we do need to get some things out of the way, the formalities. Yeah, and that is like if you like the video, put your thumb up, or if you don't like it, put your thumb down. And remember to subscribe if you want to have every video. And also, you can put on the notification. What happens when you do that? You get a bling. A what? A pling. A bling. Oh, you get a, a little alarm sound. And that <laughs> means that you'll never miss an episode. Cool. So the, uh, the formalities are out of place and now we're going to start with our crochet terms in Norwegian class. And uh, the way we're going to do this is the same way we did the knitting terms in Norwegian last year. We're going to say them, we're going to pronounce them and Arne is going to write them down. Yes. However, it's crochet so I do need to cheat uh, because, you know, there's two different crochet languages in English and I just want to make sure to get them right. Yeah. So and start. for that I need to cheat. Yeah, and we start with the basics. We are only doing the four basic terms in, uh, in Norwegian today and then we'll, we'll come back to this some other time. So to start with we're going to go to the number one thing you need to know in crochet language and this one is easy because this one is the same in American English and in British English. It's the chain stitch. Oh I think we have a moose. A uh, chain stitch. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, let uh, me write that in Norwegian. To a chain stitch. K J J M. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to write the Shedja Maske. Ah. Okay, so he wrote the term, but he's also going to write the way it's written so that you know the pronunciation. Sorry, I looked a little bit weird at you. But <laughs> you looked, but. You will have the short one on the kjede maske. So the way to pronounce this is kjede maske. And it's uh, abbreviated K-J-M. So kjede maske is a chain. A kjede is a chain or maske is a stitch. stitch. So that's easy. Yep. Now you can do kjede maske from a Norwegian pattern. Yeah, perfect. That's a good start. Yeah, it's a great yeah. start. Okay. okay, but then it gets a little bit more complicated because we've got English terms and we've got American, uh, British terms and American terms. So the next one we're going to do is the single crochet in the US and it's a double crochet in the UK. And Arne? Yeah, I'm writing down Fastmaske. So FM is the abbreviation and the way to pronounce this word is? Fastmaske. Fastmaske. It's a firm stitch. Yes. <laughs> so a single crochet in the US, a double crochet in the UK. Now if you think we're going too fast for you, don't worry. Go to our blog. We'll put it down there so you can read these. Okay? And you said f going too fast is not the same fast because that's quick. Hurtig, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dusk. In, yeah. This is fast like in firm. Yes, so it's sorry. Not a yeah. quick stitch. Steady. It's a, it also means steady. steady. So in Norwegian, fast means something that is steady. It is also the form that is the opposite of liquid, right? Yeah. So it's something fast. that has set. Uh, and it's nothing to do with fast. I just suddenly saw the Could word be fast. It's confusing because we have a lot of similar words, but sometimes they. The meanings are different. Have different meanings. Anyway, a single crochet slash double crochet. In British is a fast musker. And the next one? The next one is the one that in English, in American English is a double crochet, but in British English this one's a treble. Double, that is a stav. <laughs> or maybe an ankle stav. Ankle stav, but that's a stav. Yeah, but I think it's an ankle stav. Do that in like this. Yeah, that's that's how I would have done it. So it's a stav, and that means it's actually a one like a simple ankle stav, but it's a stav and it's written S T. Yes, an ankle stav. Ankle means single, 
And stav is a... Um, stick. Yeah, like a stick. Correct. Walking stick. That's yeah. also a stav. A walking stick. And we also have stave churches. Stav kyrka. The way it's built is like with sticks. Yes. So that's also a stav. And, and then we can do the next one, yeah. I guess. Which so, is the... S T. Yes. Stav. And then the next one would be a uh, double, no, a treble in the US <laughs> would be a double treble in the UK. In Norwegian, that's a double stav. So stav the stick, and this one is double, so double stav. And that's a D S T. And in English, it is, uh, or in American, it's a treble. And in the United Kingdom, it's a double treble. And the reason why it's a double stav in Norwegian is that to put the yarn two times over the needle yes. or, the, or the crochet hook. So it's like two times and then you pull it through. So the two times over makes it a double. And then one time is a ankle stav. So I, I, I get the logic in English. So both of them are kind of sort of logic. So let me explain the double stav in English. So in American English, it's called the treble. And I think that treble here has something to do with three. And in this case, it's because you wrap the round twice around the hook, and then you go through the loops three times. Three, yeah, so, so one, two, three. I think that's where three. the three come from. And that's where the treble, the treble comes from. Now in the United Kingdom, my idea is that you're doing the same thing, right? You're going one, two, three. So it's a treble, but in British English, it's a double treble also because you're wrapping the, round, round, the yarn twice around the hook. So both of them kind of, yeah. It's very both confusing. Of, yeah, no, 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 both of them kind of make sense because you go three times through the loops, but in the British English, they kind of repeat it again. So it's twice around the needle, three times through the loops, while in, in America, it's just three times through the, the loops. And in Norwegian, it's just twice around the needles. Now, crocheting can be very confusing, yeah. I have to say. So I think it's a good thing that we stop here. We've done the four basics. <laughs> in uh, Norwegian. We're going to repeat them now uh, without the paper yeah. so that you get the pronunciation. Uh, chain stitch is a... Luftmaske. A single crochet slash double crochet is... Fastmaske. A double crochet slash treble is... Stop. And a, <laughs> and a treble slash double treble is a... Double stop. And there you have the four basic Norwegian crochet terms. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. We are going to come back and teach you more Norwegian words in the future, so stay tuned. Remember, we post episodes every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central European time. Bye! Bye!